I'm sorry. Did you think we were done talking about updates to the Nintendo Switch on a hardware level today? <laughs> not, well, I don't. I was about to say not even close, but actually this is the last one. So it turns out the OG Switch is being updated. Now we're not talking about a Switch Pro. We're talking about stealth upgrades to the Switch that Nintendo has in the works. And we know this because of a filing with the FCC. So let's just hop on over uh, to The Verge where I discovered this. So credit to them. Not my favorite outlet out there, but uh, they were on top of this. And let's talk about it. All right. So it says Nintendo is updating the original Switch with a new CPU and storage. Is this the faster NVIDIA Tegra that was rumored? So one thing to note before I dive into this is that The Verge also confirmed that the Switch Mini is using a shrunk down Tegra X1. So... We already know the Switch Mini is using a, a more power efficient chip that theoretically could run faster. I don't know if it's actually clocked faster. Nintendo didn't give us any clock speeds today, but it is something that the Switch Mini is using and technically could mean the Switch Mini actually has a better SOC, a better system on a chip than the original Switch. This is where we got into the whole, oh, it might be more powerful than the original Switch. It's probably down clocked and not more powerful, but this is interesting because now that we have the light version coming out, Nintendo is just now deciding to upgrade in some pretty major ways, potentially, potentially major ways, this Nintendo Switch. So let's get into what, what they have to say here. Uh, so Nintendo submitted what's called a Class 2 permission change to the FCC, uh, effectively a request to tweak an existing gadget, hello, Switch, uh, without having to get the whole thing recertified for sale. So without basically re recreating a whole new product, like a Switch 2, a Switch Pro, a Switch Lite, etc. Without basically, they could still sell it under the banner that it's a Nintendo Switch, period. Um, that, that's kind of what they're going with. It, 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 these are filings that happen when companies do stealth changes or stealth updates to systems, and it happens all the time. Uh, like when Microsoft was trying to combat the Red Ring of Death and they made some stealth changes inside the system. Most of us didn't concern ourselves with it, but uh, you know, it, it's just stuff that happens over time. All right, uh, so here is what it vaguely says. I mean, I, this is just what it says. It, it, it's just really vague. Um, to whom it may concern. This is a request, a class two permission change for FCC ID, blah, 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 originally granted on 12 25 2016. That's when Nintendo was granted the ability to sell Nintendo Switches in the United States. Uh, we changed the following points from the original model change of SOC type. SOC type is the system on a chip, that's the Tegra X1. A change of the SOC type, not a change to, a change of it. To me, this says shrunk down Tegra X1 is coming to. OG Nintendo Switch. It just is. That, that That's what it tells me. But uh, who knows? I mean, Tegra X2 potentially, but I, I doubt they can get away with that type of change because that's a completely new chip. Uh, but whatever. Um, a change to that's happening. They're also doing a change to the NAND memory type. So the system has 32 gigs of NAND memory. Maybe they're going to stealth put in 64. That's possible. Uh, they could also just be changing the type of NAND it is to be faster after all we know that playstation 4 and microsoft out there are touting all these speeds with their ssds well the flash memory inside here is going to be behind that so they might want to upgrade it potentially and, and to something quicker uh so that that's obviously a potential change as well uh and that could affect os speeds too um so all right and then obviously the cpu board is changed due to the above two components so they obviously have to swap all the board because of the new SOC. Uh, that is interesting to me. Obviously, the new NAND memory type, too, as well, because obviously it's a different module they're going to use in there. I think this is very, very interesting. Um, so here's kind of what it here's kind of what the potential could be. Um, you know, in case you're unaware, SOC, blah, 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 NAND memory. Okay, so um, you should know we're not talking about the rumored Switch Pro successor because that's not what this is related to. It's related to a stealth update to this product. Uh, by the way, it's like not literally going to upgrade this Switch. Future Switches that are sold would be upgraded. This happens all the time. Um, so that being said that it happens all the time, we haven't had a filing quite like this for Switch. There has been, uh, they have updated the chip in here. 
Because remember when Switch was being hacked and all that stuff? Well, they, they upgraded and changed some things hardware-wise, but they were so slight, they never had to do it FCC, FCC filing. It was still essentially a Tegra X1. They just changed how um, a, a few modules on the board worked in order to make it harder to hack. Obviously, people still hacked it, and that's just the way it is. Uh, but this to, to do a filing like this would suggest a much bigger change an actual die shrink an actual change to the memory uh something that is, is a lot bigger than just some little minor tweaks that make things just slightly more secure um so uh the video game industry has a long history of quietly swapping out components like this by the way and just often to cut costs because newer chips are generally smaller and easier to produce exactly reference to hey if they're smaller you can produce more of them it makes a lot of sense to swap out and go with smaller components uh, but video game message boards often get pretty excited opening up consoles look for new silicone because sometimes it makes a noticeable difference the most famous example is perhaps when the xbox 360 tended to overheat and succumb to the red ring of death that's i, I mentioned that uh, but models with newer chips were far better at resisting the issue <sighs> that is true i mean it still could happen but it was much harder to happen with the Switch, it wouldn't take much of an improvement to make a difference. Given how the Switch's four-year-old Taker X1 processor is barely enough to churn through some of the system's existing titles. There's no telling until someone gets their hands on the new model and does a comparison. Um, and uh, it, it, they talk about how uh, potentially, um, you know, so the new chips could mean fewer slowdowns, faster load times, longer battery life, less heat, could be better frame rates, stuff like that. Um, all of that is potential here. So we're talking about a new, a new system on chip, a new NAND flash, a new board. Uh, that's basically swapping out everything inside the switch, but the battery. <laughs> I mean, you, if you take, if you get rid of the, the actual SOC, you get rid of the board, you get rid of the NAND flash, you're left with a battery, a screen and the, and the controllers. So like you're basically swapping out the guts of the system. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, if this ends up mattering, uh, Nintendo is not likely to talk about this publicly. So if you're if you're hoping to get Nintendo uh, to announce something about a revision to the Switch or or whatever, they're not going to changes like this. Just like with changes with the Red Ring of Death, it's not something that is talked about publicly. It's always something that happens on the back end, and most consumers go on blissfully unaware. But we are not most consumers, right? You're not watching this video because you're an average Nintendo consumer, nor am I, or an average tech consumer at that. Uh, I'm very curious to see when the new Switches come out and if people figure out what models and what version numbers we should be looking for in the boxes to get the new ones, uh, how different it really is, how different the thermals might be, how different, heck, there could be a slight increase in performance. There could be also, by the way, an increase in battery life without Nintendo telling us. Uh, this is all exciting stuff, and I think a lot of it, in my honest opinion, is to bring the OG Switch in line with the Switch Mini. Um, or, I'm sorry, I, I know it's Switch Lite. Okay, guys, I've been calling a Switch Mini for so long, it's going to take me a bit. But um, I, I, they want to bring this in line with the Switch Lite, in my opinion, so then they can manufacture one chip that suits both systems that's my guess because it's using the shrunk down one in the light they're not going to want to continue to use the big fat ones in this and keep lines open for that when everything's ready to move to the smaller chipset so that's my opinion whether or not we get more performance whether or not something else changes i have no idea uh it's all a guesstimate at this point but i wanted to bring this information to you guys because i don't think a lot of people are talking about it because everyone's wrapped up in switch light understandably wrapped up in switch light uh but it is what it is and by the time you see this video guys um, I might be on the AMN podcast again. I'm basically a regular over there because uh, this will be episode three or four. I, I, don't, I don't even remember. Um, but I'm basically a regular over there. I've been on every episode so far. So uh, go ahead and check out Advanced Media Network on YouTube if you want to check out uh, a podcast I might literally be on as you're watching this. I'm not you know, 100% for sure just yet. I had the, the way YouTube notifications worked out, I had to record this video much earlier in the day and schedule it up to a later time. So... Uh, it is what it is. But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you uh, learned something about what's happening to the OG Switch um, to potentially bring it in line with the Switch Lite and uh, that the Switch Lite might be using a better, more efficient chipset, and that's why the battery life is so great. So uh, let me guys uh, know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubblejans from Nintendo Prime. Drop a like on this video if you like it. If you learned something new today, why not subscribe? Uh, we got more videos coming your way. I still have videos from E3 I got to finish up. Seriously, I, I got... So, <laughs> I got something like two dozen videos in the pipeline. I eventually need to sit down and 
plow through some of these. But we keep getting amazing news today, like the Switch Lite, and and now this stuff about the Switch being updated. So, uh, yeah. What what what, about, what else am I going to tell you guys? Just leave a comment below. Let me know uh, what you like about my channel and what you don't. All right, catch you in the next one.